Hi everyone, I'm Erica and welcome or welcome back to Notes on the Good Life. Today we're going to be budgeting out our next paychecks in May. So my husband and I, we both work full time and our paychecks are pretty predictable for the most part. My husband's can be a little bit variable, especially around bonuses and things like that. But usually we kind of know what our the amount of our next paycheck and that's why I like to plan ahead. Um, so that is what we have planned today. And then also I will be announcing my 100 subscriber giveaway at the end of the video. So if you like budgeting and are interested in seeing how we plan out um, our upcoming budgets, then I hope you stick around and let's get into it. All right, everyone. So I have my cash stuffing plan right here where I have which paychecks are included and then also the total amount planned. So today we are going to be budgeting out $2,797. So this is the leftover money from when we pay our joint bills, um, some of our personal expenses, like things that we don't track in these envelopes and then um, our investments. So this pretty much takes care of a lot of our variable expenses, um, savings, sinking funds, and things like that. Um, so that is what we're gonna be budgeting out today. So like I mentioned before, my husband and I, we are um, full-time employees and we're also a family of three. And so that just gives you a little bit of context on how we budget here. So. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm just gonna zoom you guys in so you can see a little bit better. And we're just gonna go through each binder here. So this is our variable expenses or frequent spending binder. So first up is eating out. So this is going to be 250. I pretty much keep the amounts pretty consistent throughout the months unless like there's something special going on um, and then I'll switch up the numbers, but I like to have, uh, because our paychecks are predictable most of the time, I'd like to have sort of the same amount in most of my budget categories. So eating out gets two, we'll be getting 250. Date night, we'll be getting $50, oh, excuse me. Family fun, we're gonna do 100 here. And so my fun money, which, when I do my actual cash stuffings, I distribute throughout like a general fund money, hobbies, beauty, and clothes. So I will be allocating $200 there. Fun money, tease fun money, which is for my son, gets 100. And don't you worry, my husband also has a fun money category, but I just don't include it here in my binders. He, you know, we track that separately. Content will be getting $35. And then unplanned, we're gonna be doing 50 here. Okay, now let's just add up the amount that we have here in our variable expenses. So we have 250 plus 50 plus 100, 200, 150. Okay, and I'm just gonna write like a little subtotal Oops. here or I guess I should yeah that's right. okay or actually let's do it this way so let's do the total 2797 minus 785 so we have two thousand and twelve dollars left back and then let's go into our sinking funds binders this is a mix of my high priority and low priority sinking funds all right so health we are going to be doing 20 oops so you guys real close here so 25 dollars special occasions this is for our upcoming wedding anniversary. We'll get 100. Birthdays won't be getting anything. So I had been stuffing this to celebrate my parents' birthdays, but because of some family stuff, they had to travel back to the Philippines. So we didn't 
really have any um, way of celebrating with them and I'm just gonna wait until they come back to celebrate and give them something. So memberships, usually I like to cover like a pedicure, or massage or something like that, which I'm sure after their trip um, might be something that they're, you know, could really enjoy. So car registration, we are gonna be doing $55 car maintenance will be getting 50. Home maintenance is fully funded so that's not getting anything. Car payoff which is um, a sinking fund so that we can pay off our car loan using a lump sum. This will be 450. Taxes I'm going to put $200 in here. Home reno, I'm gonna put 40. It's not a lot, but it's something. Um, my Roth IRA will be getting 300 as usual. So I did add vacation here just because with the summertime um, and things like that, we are going to start planning for and saving up for some future vacations. So I did add that in there, it's just in another binder. So I will wait to put that amount um, in a little bit. So actually I think I'm, hold on, let me check. Let me check my paycheck breakdown real quick to make sure I have the amount for the vacation. One sec. Okay, so vacation should be getting 521 so I'll show you where I have an envelope for that when I get to that binder but just wanted to make sure I included it here okay so let's figure this out so 2012 is what we have left so but I want to add the total so 25 plus 121. So we have 1741 total for our sinking funds. And then 2012 minus 1741. So we have $271 available for our savings challenges. So let me just do that. Okay. Now I let me just go to the next page here, where I have all of my different savings challenges listed, listed out. Um, and so first, oops, okay, yeah. So first let's go to my big binder where my best is yet to come scratch off is. I'm just moving you guys over here. Okay, so this is my A5 binder here. So best is yet to crumb. Oh, where's my coin? Did I have that in here? Okay, one more second. Okay, so I have my coin and since this is a scratch off, I'm gonna scratch off the next one in the deck. So let's see. Shuffle them. Okay. Um, let's see, let's do, let's, let's see if we can do two. We'll do two and see what happens. Put these back, aren't these so cute? <laughs> I'm still really just obsessed with this uh, savings challenge right here. Okay, put those away. So let's go ahead and scratch these guys off. Um, let me, uh, I don't know how to do this. We will do it off to the side right here. Okay, so we got an eight and a 
five for a total of 13 that we are going to need here. So we have 13 here. Okay, so 271 minus 13. So we have 258 left. Okay, I'm gonna put these guys, we are gonna put them in the front. So that we know. And put these guys back. Okay. So I just wanted to get those done first. Um, and then this is also where I have my vacation challenge here because I don't have any more A6 um, envelopes. So we just put it there. So that's pretty much it for this. Okay, so let me get my E6 Savings Challenge binder. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay, so for our monthly savings challenge, we are actually done with May. So we finished this up last time with our rollover money. So we don't need anything here. So for the Akatar Savings Challenge by Omama Budgets, I'm on a court of wings and ruin. Um, let's see. If we do, I think we might be able to actually finish this. So 258 minus 20, minus 20, minus 20, minus 15. Yes, we will be able to. Um, but I just lost count. So what is that? 20, 40, 60, 75. Okay. So 75 here. Okay. So we have 183 Oops. left. Let's go to summer activities. This is a savings challenge that I created. Um, let's do, well, we have 183 left. Okay. So let's do 20, let's do, okay, 30 and then 60. So let's do $60 here just to get rid of the shells and the cones. So 60, okay, back to school. Um, Maybe for summer activities, let's do another 20. Let's do 80. Just because I feel like summer's already here and back to school can wait just a little longer. Minus 20, okay. So back to school, let's do 15, 15, 15, so that's 45. 45 and then Let's do a 20, so that's 65. Okay, and then we have $38 left, which I'm pretty sure we can get done with my Christmas savings challenge. So let me just, oops. Put this guy back here. Okay. And then so 38 left. So let me get my savings challenge here. I just ordered a box on Amazon that's supposed to come um, tomorrow. So it'll be a little bit easier for me to put these in. Um, but this is the 50 envelope Christmas savings challenge that I created. Um, and so I have, so 38, so, ooh, ooh, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is my fear about having a candle on the table is that I'm gonna burn something. And that was really close to the flame there. So I do have 38 available. So I will just add the $38 to the savings challenge. Okay, I also need to get some kind of divider for that. And this is, yeah, again, a savings challenge 
that I created. I wanted to really learn how to make my own cash envelopes and needed a fun way to save for Christmas. So I thought a 50 envelope challenge would be the best way to do that. Um, I'm just gonna put that back to the side. So 271 for savings challenge. So let's just make sure that we have all of this right. So 785 plus 1,741 plus 271 is $2,797. Okay, so our math is correct here. So now what we're gonna be doing is the planning out the denominations. total denominations here. So this is seven and the seven dollars. We have one, two, three, six fives, which is thirty dollars. Okay. We have one, two, six tens, which is sixty dollars. And then twenty seven 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 15. And let's just make sure. 15 times 20 is 300. Okay, and then this is 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, plus 3 is 12. 12 times 50 is 600. So for hundreds, you have one, two, three, four, eight, ten, fifteen, eighteen. Eighteen hundreds, which is one thousand and eight hundred. So let's make sure that our totals add up here. So we have seven plus thirty plus sixty plus three hundred plus six hundred plus one thousand eight hundred. Yep. Look at that. 2,797, which matches what we have here. So we are all ready to go for our upcoming cash stuffing. So this will be um, uploading on Sunday, the, what is that, the 5th, and then the next cash stuffings will be filmed the weeks after. So that is it for our cash, um, our budgeting and cash planning. And so lastly, before I forget, so thank you again for helping me reach the 100 subscriber milestone here on YouTube. It's a huge milestone for me. I know it may not seem like, you know, a lot for a lot of people, but this is really my first major milestone that I wanted to hit. Um, and so in honor of that, I will be giving away a $20 gift card to Etsy. Um, and so pretty much the rules are you have to be publicly subscribed to my channel um, and then like, and then also comment below, um, just something that you're looking forward to for the summer. So that's it, those are the rules. I'll make sure to um, put the rules down in the description box as well. So this giveaway will be open from May 5th when this video uploads, and then it will be closing, um, what is that, May 5th? And then two weeks after that, uh, the 12th, the 18th. The 18th, yes, okay, May 18th. So if that's incorrect, I will make sure to correct it in the description box and also up here on the screen, but I'm gonna be opening the window um, 
for two weeks. And so make sure again to subscribe, make sure you're publicly subscribed, like this video, and then also comment down below something that you're looking forward to in the summertime. So thank you guys again for helping me reach this major milestone for me. I hope you have a rest, a good rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.